What is Yahimbe? A full look at its uses, advantages, and restrictions. The Yahimbe tree, whose formal name is Pazani Stalia Yahimbe, is native to the central and western parts of Africa. The Yahimbe tree's bark has been used for hundreds of years in traditional medicine, mostly in African countries, because it might be good for you. Yahimbine is the main chemical that gives it many of its benefits. People are interested in this chemical because it might be good for them, especially when it comes to sexual health and losing weight. While Yahimbe is used, it is not without debate because it may have risks and side effects. The goal of this video is to give a thorough look at the uses, benefits, and problems connected to Yahimbe. Importance in terms of history and culture. Yahimbe has a long history of traditional use in Africa. The bark has been used as aphrodisiac and to treat a wide range of illnesses. Native American groups have used Yahimbe bark preparations to treat fertility problems, impotence, and health problems in general. Scientists are interested in Yahimbe because it is used in traditional medicine. This has led to study into its possible drug-like properties. Properties in terms of drugs. Yahimbine, the main chemical that makes Yahimbe work, is an indole alkaloid that blocks alpha-2 adrenergic receptors. In other words, Yahimbine stops certain receptors in the body from working. This makes chemicals like norepinephrine and dopamine come out more. Because these acts have been linked to a number of physiological effects, such as increased blood flow, Yahimbe has been looked at to see if it could help with sexual health. Uses and possible advantages. 1. Sexual health. Yahimbe is becoming more well known as a natural way to treat erectile dysfunction, ED. People think it increases blood flow to the groin area, which makes erections easier. Some studies show that Yahimbe may make you more aroused and improve your sexual ability. This makes it an interesting drug for treating sexual problems. 2. Loss of weight. Because Yahimbine raises norepinephrine levels, it is being looked at as a possible weight loss help. It is thought to speed up the metabolism and fat burning process, which is why it is found in some dietary products. 3. Cognitive function. Because Yahimbine affects synapses, people are interested in how it might improve brain function. Some studies show that it might help your brain work better and remember things better. Possible side effects and concerns. 1 cardiovascular effects. Yahimbe can change your blood pressure and heart rate, which can be dangerous for people who already have heart problems. Palpitations, high blood pressure, and other heart problems can happen if you drink too much. 2. Effects that aren't good. Yahimbe has been linked to side effects like nervousness, insomnia, nausea, and dizziness. The strength of these effects can vary, and some people may feel them more strongly when they are sensitive to Yahimbine. 3. Regulatory issues. Some countries have limited or banned the sale of goods that contain Yahimbe because of the possible side effects. The fact that Yahimbine levels in pills can vary makes people worry about the safety and effectiveness of the products. Yahimbe comes from traditional medicine, and scientists are interested in it because it might help with weight loss, sexual health, and brain function. But you should be careful because of the risks and side effects that come with it. People should talk to a doctor before using Yahimbe, as they should with any plant remedy. This is especially important for people who already have health problems. More study needs to be done to fully understand how Yahimbe works and to make sure that it is used in a safe and effective way. How can I use it every day? Yahimbe should not be used every day without being careful because it can have side effects and people react differently to it. Keep in mind that Yahimbe or its main ingredient Yahimbine should not be used by everyone, especially people who already have certain health problems. In order to make sure that Yahimbe is safe for you, you should talk to a medical worker before adding it to your daily routine. Here are some general tips and things to think about. Consultation with a medical professional. Talk to a doctor before adding Yahimbe to your daily routine, especially if you already have heart problems, worry disorders, or kidney problems. In order to give you personalized advice based on your specific health needs, they can check your health. Begin with low doses. If your doctor says it's okay, start with a small amount of Yahimbe to see how well it works for you and how sensitive you are to it. To lower the chance of side effects, it's important to stick to the dosage instructions. Pick standardized supplements. If you take Yahimbe supplements, make sure they come from a reputable company and have a normal amount of Yahimbine in them. 
This helps make sure that doses are always the same and lowers the risk of taking in unknown amounts of the active substance. Keep an eye out for side effects. Keep a close eye on how your body reacts and look out for any side effects. Some common side effects are a faster heartbeat, nervousness, trouble sleeping, and stomach problems. If the drug has any bad effects on you, stop using it and talk to a doctor or nurse. Think about riding a bike. Because yahimbe can lead to tolerance and habit, you might want to use it occasionally instead of all the time. This method might help keep people from building up a tolerance and lower the risk of side effects over time. Take your dose at the right time. If you're taking yahimbe for a specific reason, like weight loss or sexual health, you might want to think about when you should take it. As an example, taking it before a planned sexual action or as part of a routine to lose weight before a workout. Do not mix with stimulants. Yahimbe works like a stimulant, and taking it with other stimulants like caffeine can make side effects like nervousness and a faster heart rate more likely. Be aware of possible conflicts if you take other stimulants. Drink plenty of water. Yahimbe may make you pee more, so it's important to drink plenty of water, especially if you are busy. To keep from getting dehydrated, make sure you drink enough water throughout the day. Always keep in mind that how different people react to Yahimbe can change, and what works for one person might not work for another. Your health and safety should always come first, and you should talk to a medical professional to get help that is specific to your situation. Who should be careful with it? Yahimbe isn't right for everyone. Some people should be extra careful when using it or should not use it at all because it could have side effects or combine badly with other medicines they are already taking. Before using Yahembe, you should talk to a doctor or nurse, especially if you are any of the following. 1. People who have heart problems. Yahembe can change your blood pressure and heart rate. People who have had heart disease, high blood pressure, palpitations, or other heart problems in the past should be careful when using Yahembe because it can make these problems worse. 2. People who have anxiety or other mental health problems. Yahembe may be exciting and can make anxiety or other mental health problems worse. Yahembe should be used with care by people who have had anxiety disorders, panic attacks, or other mental health problems in the past. 3. People who have problems with their kidneys or liver. Yahembe is broken down by the liver, and taking too much of it can put extra stress on the liver. People with liver problems should be careful when using Yahembe, and people with kidney problems should also be careful because it can make you pee a lot. 4. People who are taking medications. Yahembe might not work well with some medicines, like blood pressure medicines, antihistamines, and others. It is very important to let your doctor know about all the medicines you are taking so they can look for possible combinations and change your doses as needed. 5. Women who are pregnant or breastfeeding. Yahembe is not well known to be safe for women who are pregnant or breastfeeding. Yahembe can be harmful to a growing fetus or a nursing baby, so women who are pregnant or breastfeeding should stay away from it. 6. People who have problems with their intestines. Yahembe can upset your stomach, making you feel sick and causing gut pain. People who have had stomach problems in the past, like ulcers or irritable bowel syndrome, should be careful when using Yahembe. 7. Those with allergies or sensitivities. People who are allergic to or sensitive to yahembe or substances that are similar to it should not use it. Skin rashes, itching, swelling, or trouble breathing are all signs of an allergic response. 8. People over the age of 60. Yahembe may have stronger effects on the heart and brain in older people. As a result, older people should be careful and talk to a medical worker before thinking about using it. It's important to stress that the information here is only a guide. How each person reacts to Yahimbe can be different. In order to figure out your health situation, possible risk factors, and whether or not Yahimbe is right for you, you should talk to a medical expert. When thinking about taking herbal medication, you should always put your health and safety first. We hope you found the video useful. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to support us. Hope to meet again with new content.